Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jason Matthew. Uh, today we are going to talk about how uh, we can form an HA between uh, high availability between 9800 series WLC. So 9800 series WLC is the IOS XE based uh, WLC introduced by Cisco. Let me um, show you what is my uh, setup all about. Uh, right now I have a CL version of it. As you can see here, uh, I have CL version. 9800 iPhone CL. This is the one you can run it on uh, EXSI server, uh, basically on the cloud, local cloud or uh, uh, the public cloud. And uh, right now I am running on a version of uh, 16.12. Uh, this is my uh, first WLC, and this will be the uh, primary one I am going to make it. Then uh, my host name is uh, uh, 10 Network 1, uh, EWLC 1. Then uh, I have a second WLC, uh, that is this one. And uh, the second WLC is uh, uh, 10 network hyphen 2. So this is the uh, WLC configuration. I also have the CLI open here. So this is the first uh, WLC and uh, this is the second WLC. Let me show you the interfaces, show IP interface. And uh, you can see all the interfaces and my IP is 190 and show IP. And here also you can see uh, 191. So I'll be using uh, IP address of 196. Uh, this is the IP I'm going to use it for uh, redundancy purpose. So as you can see, this particular IP is not uh, um, not there in my network. So I'll be using this IP 196 uh, 196 and uh, 197. So these are the IPs I'm planning to use it for uh, building the HA. Let me show you the redundancy uh, status now. So as you can see here, uh, this particular one uh, is configured for SSO, but uh, there is no redundant uh, uh, device or uh, there is not there is no redundancy configured for this device. Let me show you the same thing on the second WLC. As you can see here again uh, this is not uh, written and each other so we will uh, we will try to build this one from gui i'm going to the first controller and um, in the administration side we have uh, device administration we covered this one in uh, previous videos so if you want to see that you can refer the older videos or uh, 9800 series gui introduction videos so uh, redundancy is coming under uh, administration and uh, device configuration under that administration and you have to go to the uh, redundancy page the same way i have to go to a second controller administration device and uh, redundancy now i'm going to enable uh, redundancy here and i am going to enable redundancy on second one okay let me configure uh, the first wlc um, so local ip i'm going to give uh, 10.105.218.196 this will be my ip local ip and netmask will be my netmask i'm going to use a gigabit 3 uh, as an ha interface then remote ip i'm going to give 10.105.218.197 that's my remote ip and keep alive timer is 1 then keep alive retries is three and uh, active priority i'm going to uh, set it as two um, two here so uh, i want this guy to become the primary uh, kind of scenario so we don't have the concept of primary and secondary kind of thing uh, there is only standby and active so uh, the high priority guy will be the uh, primary one uh, in the older ha configuration point of view so i'm going to click on apply here so that um, this one will be able to enable the uh, redundancy. So, so uh, you can see this uh, warning. Uh, so I'm going to uh, click on yes. And uh, once I uh, done this yes, uh, it will be rebooting. So I'll, uh, I'll show you the status, what is happening on the rebooting side. So I'm going to reboot this guy. Uh, I clicked on apply. Then configuration is uh, successfully applied. Then uh, we will go to administration and reload. Save configuration and reload. We'll apply this. Um, configuration and we will reload this uh, WLC. Uh, as you can see here, uh, this is the console of this particular uh, uh, WLC. Uh, console means it's a VM console. Uh, the, here you can see the rebooting is happening and all those things. So uh, let it get rebooted here. Uh, let me configure the second controller uh, for HA configuration. 
so this reboot is in progress let me go and uh, configure the second guy so my local ip is 97 so i use 196 on the other side i'm going to use 197 then say same MAC address again interface 3 then remote ip will be the peer ip that will be 196 then this priority i'm going to put it as uh, one so that um, you know, it will be lower than the other guy so uh, this one will be able to uh, become like a standby controller on uh, on the current situation so let me click on apply and i'm going to click on yes then uh, once this configuration is saved then i'm going to reload this controller and uh, click on apply so this one is also going to reboot so let's see the reboot on uh, this side um, because this is the console and you'll uh, you'll be able to see that uh, reboot happening on both the sides so as you can see here uh, this guy is rebooting so i will not uh, i'll not uh, uh, pause this video here uh, i'll just make it run and i'll um, fast forward it so that uh, we will get the uh, last result so let's see what happens in the background So the uh, reboot is completed. Uh, let me show you the uh, status, show redundancy. As you can see here, this one is uh, uh, already up and running. And uh, you can see the SSO mode is already applied. And um, let me let me show the second, second guy here. As you can see, the second guy is also took the number, uh, the name and the host name as uh, the network hyphen one, but you can see the standby as a standby. And um, you will not be able to do anything on the console side. Uh, it will be disabled. So this is how uh, it will behave after uh, the HA is formed. So as you can uh, see here, uh, the first controller came up uh, with 190 IP and that's a primary IP uh, took by this guy. Then uh, the second controller, uh, you can see uh, this one is not able to uh, find that guy because that IP is not relevant now because um, this one is gone into um, the st standby mode. Uh, to see the uh, redundancy status, you have to go to monitoring. Under uh, monitoring, you have to go to system. Uh, as you can uh, see here uh, in the configuration side in administration we did the configuration under device go to monitoring uh, go to general and system under system we have redundancy here and uh, as you can see here this redundancy is uh, enabled and uh, this current state is active standby hot uh, prior status is standby hot then unit is primary then uh, unit id is 2 as you can uh, see here, uh, the high priority guy uh, took uh, uh, priority and this one became uh, active and low priority guy is uh, taken over this one. So, um, so this is the way this priority works in background. Then uh, active statistics, uh, you can see the statistics on uh, uh, the uh, redundancy part of it. So how many processes are running and memory utilization and all those things. So this can be utilized for uh, seeing the statistics. So something similar to the HA that is available on ROS, um, ROS uh, WLCs, right? The same way you will be able to see the active statistics. And uh, this is the standby guy. Uh, what is the kind of uh, condition we have in the standby? So here we have a command to um, uh, try the force switch over to test this HA setup is working or not. So let me try to do that here uh, on the console side. Um, for that, I have to go into enable mode. Let me go into enable mode. Then uh, redundancy force switchover is the command. So I can type this one and confirm. Then manual switchover is uh, triggered and you can see uh, the status is getting changed and you can see the status on the right hand side. What happened to that uh, second WLC? Uh, so this force switchover, uh, we will uh, see primary got rebooted, but uh, secondary got switched it over uh, the, to be uh, basically the secondary guy uh, became the uh, active uh, WLC. So we did the switchover and primary is rebooting and you know this particular GUI was showing uh, 
uh, before and that was coming from the primary WLC. That, that was uh, our um, ten network hyphen one, the first uh, EWLC one. So uh, as this particular WLC got switched over to second guy, even our session got timed out. Uh, we will we have to log in into system again. So I uh, logged in and you can see uh, same number of APs are here. And uh, let's go and uh, see the monitoring uh, status of system redundancy settings. Then go to redundancy. Uh, you can see that this particular guy is active. Peer state is disabled because uh, right now that guy is un uh, going through rebooting. And you can see who, who is the active guy now. So this guy became active and uh, the other guy um, other guy is uh, rebooting now so we don't have the details for that member so in this um, uh, this is how uh, we can do the uh, switch over and uh, you can see this active statistics only because your secondary is not available as you can see here uh, this particular guy is uh, uh, rebooting so once this reboot is completed uh, we will be able to see that guy uh, coming up in the background let's wait for this uh, first wlc to complete the reboot then we will uh, come back and see the status again as you can see here uh, this particular wlc became the standby and uh, the other guy is taken over the active state of your uh, redundancy so redundancy it's already took it over uh, but now uh, you'll be able to see this uh, in the site right let's go back to the same page uh, system configuration under redundancy now you can see that okay uh, this guy's uh, status is um, state is active and the secondary guy is uh, standby hot and uh, you can see the priority here uh, standby hot uh, is having highest priority but uh, because you can see that uh, um, uh, switch over is happened here then uh, switch over uh, system experience so you can see this count so how many switch overs are happen let's do one more uh, one more switch over uh, to see this count is increasing and uh, our actual primary device is taking over the active state of your redundancy as you can see that uh, this switch over Count is increasing, so we had uh, two switchovers, and now uh, this guy is uh, active. The primary guy is active, and you can see that um, uh, high priority guy became the active one. So you can see the switchover details below. So you can see this information: what is the switchover reason and all those things. So as you can see here, uh, the switchover happened because of uh, user. So user force switchover. So force switchover is uh, doing that. But if you have any other kind of crash or something like that, you will be able to uh, you will be able to see that uh, reason here. So as you can uh, see here, um, so I I just refresh this page and uh, you can see this uh, statistics coming for the secondary guy. So that reboot is completed and it's in under uh, progress uh, the co config um, sync is happening in the background H S sync is in progress so you can see the progress also in this state you can uh, refresh this page to um, get the status again then uh, you can see here uh, it became standby hot all the sync is completed and it became standby hot so our uh, second switch over also completed and uh, we are able to see uh, the status of the WLC. Due to the HA configuration, we got disconnected from the console and uh, now we got the console back. But as you can see here, the second WLC is no more available because uh, we did the switch over and ultimately uh, we have only one IP uh, available. The second guy is uh, got disconnected uh, because that IP is not relevant anymore because of the HA state. And uh, here, uh, let me show you show uh, redundancy here. So as you can see, your um, redundancy related information, you can find it in this uh, in CLI also. If you if you want to see that in the CLI or if you want to collect it, this is the command to do that. Before the reboot, I shown your uh, shown the interfaces, right? Okay, so as you can see here, now we have only uh, two interfaces, uh, gigabit one and two. And uh, the third interface got converted into a chain interface and that interface is no more available for any kind of use. So that interface is already gone from the system. Okay, so uh, you have to uh, keep that in mind uh, in uh, in uh, VM 
setup, the cloud setup, the interfaces that you choose for HA configuration. Once the HA is built, uh, we are done with that configuration. Now you know that uh, your uh, interface tree uh, got converted into um, your HA interface, right? So what was the configuration on that interface? So I, I missed that in the initial uh, time. Uh, so I, I forgot to show you that. So let me show you the interface configuration on my um, uh, interface tree. This is my um, uh, WLC, uh, the WLC one, uh, the, uh, the VM. And you can see the second, uh, third interface is mapped to Trungol. And uh, the same way uh, I have uh, the second WLC. Second WLC is also mapped to Trungol. So basically it's an L2 connectivity kind of scenario. So I put both on uh, both interfaces on Trungol so that they will be able to communicate to each other. So this is my uh, configuration on uh, network adapter three. So this network adapter three is reflecting there as a, a gigabit interface three. So you have to keep it in mind that, okay, this particular WLC is supposed to uh, talk to each other on L2 side. So you have to make sure this particular one is coming through same uh, policy or some, some same kind of uh, setup on the background to communicate each other. Because it's a logical interface, but we have to make sure uh, this one is connected uh, properly, right? So this is the configuration you have to uh, do it. And last thing, um, on uh, WLC side, you can see uh, this dashboard, right? So we, we can see all the redundancy status uh, here, but in the dashboard, you have one more thing uh, that is uh, CPU utilization, right? So you can see this CPU utilization, but you can see one more extra option came here. So you can see active and standby. So right now it's showing by default, it will show the active uh, CPU utilization and memory utilization. You can change this to standby. Instead of going into the statistics on the other side, you can directly go into uh, a dashboard and dashboard itself will be able to show you the uh, utilization on the both the sides. So the HA configuration on um, 9800 have a lot of extra capabilities uh, in the display point of view or the configuration point of view. Hope uh, this one will help you to uh, form the HA and uh, you'll be able to uh, make use of uh, HA in uh, 9800. So with this, I'm going to close this video. See you in next video. Thank you for watching.